Hi, I'm Justin from Bay Road Nursery. And today we're gonna to talk about some other climbers. Previous, previously I've spoken about the star jasmine, which everyone knows. But there's a huge range of climbing plants. The reason most plants are climbers is they're trying to climb to the top of the forest and get to the sunlight. So that's why some varieties can be a bit unruly and grow a bit quick, maybe end up a bit empty at the bottom. But if you want a bit of different choice, or you really want to block the neighbours out in a particular way without having to plant a tree in the ground to do it, then there's some great other choices. Today I've bought some deciduous climbers. Deciduous means the leaves fall off them. Now I know nobody likes leaves falling off, but climbers don't have a lot of leaves because they're not a very big plant. And sometimes they're the most rewarding with the results that you get. The most popular one is um, Boston Ivy. It's so popular, I've run out at the moment, but we will have it in. It's got a very flat leaf on it, it goes red in autumn. It looks similar to this ornamental grapevine, which is another great variety to choose. It looks beautiful over a pergola, and then the leaves fall down, it cleans itself up and lets the light through for the winter time. Um, Wisteria is another plant that can grow and give you great results with flower and so on, and needs to be kept in control, a bit like you might grow a grapevine. Keep it under control, don't let it wind around and uh, grab on and you know, wrap around things because it can get thick after a while and maybe do some damage. And one of the other popular ones are the Pandoras, they're a native. This one here, Pandoria alba. White flowers, quite vigorous, beautiful dark green foliage. There's lots of different varieties of climbers, so if you have any questions, come and see us at Bay Road Nursery.